Hey guys, this is Mark Russell. I want to talk to you today about Bradford pears. Are they good trees? And the answer is, take a look at this. We are uh, up in North Atlanta right now, north of uh, right over in Canton. And this is the situation that we see all the time. And I want to talk to you a little bit about why we see it. And basically, it's something called included bark and the basic structure of a Bradford pear. First off, multiple branches coming off at one place is something that honestly is not a great thing, uh, specifically because you don't get good quality fiber structure. Um, it's better to have you know one branch than another foot up, another branch. So ultimately, if you have multiple branches coming off at once, you get kind of a tangled mess of uh, tree fiber and a lot of included bark. So what's included bark? This black area, a lot of people, and it matches this, um, pretty much say, oh, well, the tree was rotten, but that's not actually the case. What this is, is as this side of the tree gets fatter, it pushes in, and as this side of the tree gets fatter, it pushes in, and it actually, a little bit, starts squeezing them apart. Now, you combine that, we we'll take a look at how much foliage is up in that tree. You combine those two together, when it rains, and a little bit of wind, having not good horizontal fiber, the trees are done. Now let me just show you one other thing. Here's a maple tree. Now look at the good quality U shape. No included bark or minimal. And in fact, look at this. Look at this taper on this. See, this is called reactionary growth right here. So as the branch is pulling down, it's adding girth right here in this little area and in this little area to support the branch. You don't have all that included bark where it's pressing against. Bottom line, guys, Bradford pears do grow fast. Builders put them in because they grow fast, and I think maybe they're even pretty inexpensive, but I don't think they're a good choice. So if you're gonna put in a tree, I might consider not putting in Bradford pears. They're kind of considered a liability in a lot of, um, a lot of the assessments we do on property value. They're almost a liability for the property because ultimately when one breaks, like, let me just show you, here's bottom line. When one breaks, look, now you're in an emergency. You have to get it taken care of, and that costs money. Hey, guys, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call, 770-Arborist. We've been in the Atlanta area taking care of trees since 1997. Thanks so much. You guys take care. Bye-bye.